Okay, this is part two of my Jewel Thief charger and light. And I um, worked some more on it today and also was watching uh, the internet. And uh, Kubikop has posted the circuit that he is using. And uh, this is his circuit. And it is a charging circuit using Jewel Thief. He uses a double pull, double throw switch here to change the batteries back and forth. So basically this is his circuit. I've just simplified it a little bit. And what I've got here is a, um, uh, a simplified diagram that just shows the uh, components maybe a little bit easier for those that don't read schematics very well. These are the two batteries here and you'd simply just swap them back and forth, uh, source and charge battery. But um, I did change my circuit that I showed last time to a little different circuit. I was coming out of the charge battery back into the plus on the source, which is how the Bedini circuits work. But on this circuit here, they go back into the emitter. And I tried it both ways, and you get more uh, voltage uh, on the charge battery by going back through the LEDs, through the charge battery, back into the emitter. So that's the way I did it. But what I want to show today was the, uh, the face and the voice of a jewel thief. And this is the little jewel thief right here, this little guy right here. A nasty little guy, a little thief of the jewels. And uh, that's what he looks like on the scope. And that's his waveform running right there. And uh, this little high spike right here is coming off the collector of the transistor. And it's this spike right here which makes those lights and charges up that battery. And that's the amp draw on the system right now, uh, which means uh, that this is drawing less than 10 milliamps. So it's into the less than 10 milliamp range. Uh, this is voltage on the um, charge battery right now. And what I'm going to do is turn the radio on so you can hear it. Hear what he sounds like here. He's got a funny voice. Okay, now I'm going to adjust the uh, potentiometer here, which is on the base, and you can hear his voice change. And he goes through different frequencies. And this is what his waveform looks like. As I vary that voltage, you can see this change here. Now here's the amp draw. There's was zero. Now as I adjust the base uh, voltage on the transistor, you can see the amp draw is going to go up. It goes all the way up to 80 milliamps. It's drawing quite a bit of juice there, 80 milliamps. But then you dial it back down goes back down to zero. Anyway, I just wanted to show you the the face of a jewel thief and what he looks like and what he sounds like and the waveform. This is one battery here, double A battery charging up another AA battery. And it's uh, very, very interesting. The um, If I uh, take the charge battery and disconnect and, and run just through a capacitor, you can see the uh, spikes start to rise. And you can see the voltage on the um, capacitor rising up there. See the voltage on that cap going up now? Goes up to um, four to six volts there on that cap. You can see the waveform going back down again as I dial this back down. Okay, now I'm going to reconnect the battery. You can see that voltage will drop back down again. There it goes. Let's show it on the screen. It climbs back up goes back down, climbs back up, goes back down. The effect of a capacitor on the circuit. 
But yeah, I've had a lot of fun with this Jewel Thief. Real fun little circuit, and there's a lot of uh, things I think we can do with it. This is my little uh, table lamp, too, that I now use, and it's worked out quite well. But it doesn't charge. You have to use the sun on a solar panel to charge it up. This one here actually charges the battery while it's running. And I've been running this over 24 hours, and uh, the thing about this circuit is it uses such a small amount of uh, energy to produce light. And these LEDs actually at night when it's dark, you can read by them. If you put a book under that, it, uh, in the dark room you can actually read by it. And that's drawing less than 10 milliamps. And then, of course, it's charging up a battery while it's doing that. So I think this... Uh, this Jewel Thief circuit, or the charging circuit, is something that we need to really uh, do some work on. We might be able to beef it up with a bigger transistor and um, try some different things with it, but uh, I like it. I think it's kind of fun. This uh, waveform reminds me of a Bedini H-Wave, very similar to that, and um, I think we're getting some pretty good charging off of this, uh, this little uh, transistor. That's coming right off the collector down there. So anyway, that's my latest on the little jewel thief project.